They're going to try and find the homeless. They're trying to pass a law which basically says they're going to fine the homeless £2,500 or send them to prison. Hello, welcome back to Rob's Homemade and Morning Chit Chats. Today, I'm gonna go a little bit political because I don't normally do this on this channel because I like to keep my chit chats light-hearted um, and fun and engaging for you guys. But this one last night, which I saw really boiled my piss. I am gonna try not to swear throughout this video, but I can't guarantee it, so I apologize if I do. And guess what? It started raining to make it worse. Basically, they're going to try and find the homeless. They're trying to pass a law which basically says they're going to fine the homeless £2,500 or send them to prison. This country is just getting worse and worse and worse. It's so messed up. Shouldn't we be helping these people? Helping them to get back to work, get back into accommodation. Where's a homeless person finding £2,500 from? That's the laughable part. The laughable part is, you go to somebody who's homeless, right? There's a £2,500. How they, they can't pay you, so that's pointless. Put them in jail for, for three or four weeks. They're gonna love it. They've got a roof over their head. They've got three meals a day. They've got heat, they've got warmth, they've got TV. They'd gladly do it, and they'll probably come back out and do something stupid, or reoffend, or go homeless again to get back into jail. The other part of this argument is we are spending millions and millions of pounds on migrants coming over on boats, and we're putting them up in nice hotels, six months, eight months, twelve months at a time, while they file the applications. Here's an idea: kick those out and put our homeless in there, give them a chance to get back into to society. As you can tell, this is winding me up even more. Get them, give them a chance to get back into society, get jobs, go back to work. A lot of homeless people are not homeless of their own choice. Something messed up happened in their lives where they had no choice but to lose their house, lose their home, lose whatever. And it's really annoying that us as a UK government, Rishi Sunak, the richest Prime Minister we've ever, ever had, decides he wants to find people who've got nothing. These people have got tents, they have sleeping bags. Some of them don't even have that. I pass people on my way to work some mornings. There's one guy who always is in the cemetery doorway. And he's got nothing. He's got absolutely jack shit. He's wrapped himself up in a rug. Where he got that from, I don't know. But the other thing about this argument as well, fine not getting paid because nobody's got any money so that's just a ridiculous statement to make the other thing is putting them into prison yes i said they'll be happy they'll get roof over their head they'll get three meals a day but they're not even jailing people who are criminals anymore because the prisons are that full them sticking them on tags they won't even jail somebody who's done something actually wrong in the country because they can't there's no room for them. So how are you gonna find room for thousands and thousands of homeless people across the UK? You're not Rishi Sunak. Sort your life out and look after these people instead of bringing out these stupid bylaws where you're giving the police the authority to find homeless people with a fine. That, not being funny, like I've just said, they're not gonna pay because they can't pay. So it's ridiculous. Put them in jail can't put them in jail because there's no room so you need to find an alternative solution to that because that is absolutely ridiculous so anyway short and sweet my rant over like i said at the beginning i wouldn't normally do political stuff because it's not my style but when i saw that last night it really did wind me up and i needed to get it off my chest so i just want to say thank you very much for watching Leave a comment below and let me know what you think on what I've just said, whether you agree with me, disagree with me, or 
you have your own opinion i'd love to hear it so thank you very much for watching smash that like button hit that subscribe button when you hit the subscribe button don't forget the notification bell click all and you'll get every single notification from me rob at rob's homemade from a very wet morning chit chat peace